Good morning, good morning, everybody. Well, actually, it's afternoon. I don't know why I say good morning. It is April Chapman here with the Standard of Truth podcast. And today is Scripture Memory Day 24. Yesterday, we learned verse 23. And today, we'll be learning verse 24. But before we dive in to verse 24, let's go ahead and review verse 23. Verse 23 yesterday was about exchanging the glory of the immortal God for images resembling immortal man, birds, animals, and creeping things. So let's go ahead and read it one time, recite it. This one I think we need to recite 10 times because it is a little longer. And then we'll go ahead and learn verse 24. So verse 23 is, and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. So we'll count that as the first time. So let's go ahead and recite it nine more times. And exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. And exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. And exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling birds and animals for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. Let's start with the pinnacle of God's creation, which is mortal man. And then it's the birds, the animals and the creeping things. Five more times. And exchange the glory of the immortal God for images resembling immortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. And exchange the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. And exchange the glory of the immortal God for images resembling immortal, ma immortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. Last time. And exchange the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. That was verse 23. Verse 24, let's go ahead and read it. Therefore, because of all of these things, God does something. God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Wow, this is the month of June. And our verse today tells us, therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity. And it's just not the impurity that celebrated this month but it's all kinds of impurity to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. So let's go ahead and read that 10 times. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. That was five times. Notice there is the word to is repeated twice before in the first um, preposition or well, the first sentence before the comma and then in the second um clause the first clause and then in the second clause sorry therefore god gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves 
Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Last time. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Now let's see if we can say it from memory without looking 10 times. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Not too bad. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up to the blah, 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 blah. God gave them, therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. That was five times, five more times. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Last time, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. So let's try to recite verses 18 through 24. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is made plain to them, for God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his divine nature and eternal power, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. Praise God. That was verses 18 through 24. For good measure, we are at eight minutes and 42 seconds. Let's go ahead and recite all 24 verses together. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his son, who was descended from David, according to the flesh, and was declared to be the son of God in power, according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord. I don't know why I um, drew a blank. Through whom we have received grace and apostleship, to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations, including you who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. To all those in Rome who are loved by God and called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith has been proclaimed in all the world. For God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son, 
that without ceasing, I mention you always in my prayers, asking that somehow by God's will, I may now at last succeed in coming to you. For I long to see you that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to strengthen you. That is that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers, that I have often intended to come to you, but thus far have been prevented in order that I may reap some harvest among you, as well as among the rest of the Gentiles. I am under obligation both to Greeks and to barbarians, both to the wise and to the foolish. And so I'm eager to preach the gospel to you who are also in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith, as it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is made plain to them or God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his divine nature, and eternal power have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. For, oh, for although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. I think that was, yeah, 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 yeah. Good thing, Sam. Here in your hearts are dark and calamity wise became fools and exchanged. Okay. Yeah, I had a little snafu around verse 21. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but became futile in their thinking and the foolish hearts were darkened. So, praise God. By God's grace, we are steadily making our way through this chapter. This has been an amazing experience. I like this discipline because it keeps me focused on the main thing, which is Jesus Christ and him crucified. And it also allows me to zero in in a very methodical way on one particular chapter of scripture that is so befitting and so timely um, in the time that we're in. Um, I love the fact that scripture is God breathed and it is profitable for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, um, all of that. So um, that concludes our time today. I wish we could stay a little longer, but it's just scripture memory challenge. So it's not designed to be super, super long. You just take a few minutes out of your day, recite your verses throughout the day. Today is Friday. Praise God for bringing us through another week. The weekends we do take off. So I will see you on Monday where we will learn verse number 25. Grace and peace to you. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.